Hey, Jessa. Hey, Leo. I can't see you, but I can hear you. Can you hear me? I can hear you, but I can't see you. Uh, give me one sec. I can't hear anything. How do I do this? On the bottom, there should be a start video button. All right, it's not working with the headphones, so whatever. That works. How are you? There you go. I can see Brandon. Hey, how you doing? Yeah. Where's Brandon? I'm good. Oh, there how you are go. you? <laughs> I'm doing fine. Click. Can the, you guys uh, hear me? Click the app. And say, yeah. But you have to start the video. I think I click that. What is this? Let me see. So click the screen and then on top, you're going to see it's going to say start video. Yeah, now he just muted himself. Oh God! You're getting old, bud. Oh How God! You doing? All right, there we go. There we go. <laughs> we are, and we're recording too. Right. How oh, are you great. doing? Awesome. We're doing good. Leo's going to pick good. up a uh, radon canister, and uh, I'm here doing reports. Very good. Teamwork. Teamwork. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. How's so, business um, with you? So, Tom, business is going good. I mean, I'm working from home, and I'm call, calling people like crazy just because that's, you know, I'm just checking in, making sure everybody's okay. And um, things are very virtual right now for me. I'm doing, <laughs> I'm setting up virtual tours, virtual open houses virtual meetings like this with my clients so I can make sure that they're ahead mm -hmm. of the game, you know, once everything's back to normal. So we're mm -hmm. really thinking out of the box with getting creative with stuff. How about you guys? Yeah, that's what you got to do. We're doing good. We're doing the whole uh, virtual experience too. So if someone is a high risk individual or they just don't feel comfortable about going to a home inspection, we'll record the whole thing with our iPads and a, uh, Sometimes we do a FaceTime the whole way through and tell them to get a pen and paper just like they were there with us and write all the deficiencies that uh, matter in the grand scope of things. And uh, that's basically it. Just adjusting. But you know, business as usual. That's awesome. So you're, the house would be vacant. You'll have the, them on FaceTime with you and then you'll just do it like a regular walk regular home inspection yeah we'll we'll do that but i mean there's been times where the houses weren't vacant and uh we'll wear well first of all we don't wear the regular surgical masks that everybody's wearing we'll wear these which these are 99 point i think five percent proof of anything coming into your lungs or anything going out so this is used for like asbestos okay. and lead paint particles so as far as covid goes it's not getting in here and it's not coming out of here so with that, um, if, the, if the homeowners are over 60, we'll try to wear a Tyvek suit. And if there are people in the house, we'll put them in one room and we'll ask the buyers, which room are you least concerned about? It? The second bedroom, you know, if we missed an outlet that doesn't work, you know, so be it. But during these times, if you want to buy the house, we're going to have to take these types of precautions. So we do what we can in order to make everybody feel comfortable, you know? Got it. It's okay. Tough, but... Yeah, so how do I get one of those masks? <laughs> <laughs> uh, hey, well, we have these if you want. You want. Kind of <laughs> We're actually keeping a those stack nice. of this one, so those possible ones for uh, you know for any clients that don't have them we just try to keep uh, we just order 100 more and uh, we have gloves we also have sterile uh, antiseptic uh, towels you know in, in case anyone needs to wash their hands or anything like that we keep 90% uh, alcohol in a sprayer 
just in case we have to touch anything around the house, you know, people would definitely feel more secure by us cleaning everything that we touch. Okay, that's great. Brandon? That's really great. So what, um, what other safety precautions are you guys taking just to limit exposure for any of the parties during the home inspection? Um, well, this, besides our capabilities to do a video walkthrough and having everybody in a room, we will, if they want to come onto the site, we like to limit at le only two people in at once. So even if it's okay. vacant, let's only have two people in. So what we'll do is we'll go through the house. Well, so a home inspection is broken up usually into, as you know, roofing, exterior, plumbing, et cetera, from the outside, bottom up. So if it's outdoors, six feet apart, I'll come get you if it's something super serious. And if you want to follow us the whole time, let's just do it at a distance. Um, and then once we go into the house, usually if I find something in the basement, I'll run out and tell the guy or, or female to come inside and check in the basement with Leo and they'll check it, they'll leave, and then we'll continue on. So it adds a couple minutes to the process, but safety is the, the, the only concern right now with us. And then we don't do anything else besides work. So we limit our own exposure uh, so that we don't get anybody else sick because that would be heartbreaking if that happened. Right. And that's about it. That makes sense. Okay, yeah. great. So how are you guys as a company helping others financially during these hard times? Uh, we're doing, well, we have a bunch of discounts in place. We have $100 off for any frontline workers. So if you are working at a grocery store, if you're a nurse, if you're a doctor, National Guard, uh, anybody who is on the front lines dealing with the situation and putting themselves at risk in order to save others, we're giving you a discount. We also have our normal discount for veterans, uh, police officers, and other law enforcement officials. We are doing oil tank sweeps for 99 and we are also giving free termite inspection and free thermal imaging inspection with every home inspection. So we want to be able to help the home buying process continue for realtors and for home purchases, and also not charge as much because we know everybody's going through an economic hard time. And uh, if we can all just be in this together and be a little selfless at this time, I think we'll pull through just fine, especially in our state. Yeah, that's awesome. So you said $100 mm -hmm. off for anyone on front line yep. and the termite is included and the thermo, uh, say that one more time. Image, thermal imaging the camera is included. So if there's a leak behind the wall, we'll see it. Uh, if there's a leak coming through the ceiling, we'll see it. And that's all included in the package as well. Okay, awesome, awesome. Mm -hmm. So are home inspections the only services offered for you guys? No. Uh, we also just started doing mold inspections um, and air quality testing. And we had already been doing mold samples before, but we felt that we felt prior that we needed to start doing air quality testing just in order to give a 360 view of any type of mold infiltration in the house because it does travel from the outdoors. But now with this COVID issue, people are stuck in the house all day. So if we could purchase more equipment in order to tell if there is anything in the house, such as asbestos particles in the air or carbon dioxide or monoxide or methane gas from a sewer uh, line leak or something of that nature, why not do it? Why not have people feel just as safe indoors as they should feel outdoors? So, yeah, we're, we're just, we're trying to, we're just trying to offer every service for everybody at this time so that, one, we keep business going, but more importantly, everybody feels safe, no matter what environment they're in. Right. And Leo, what, what, uh, if you want to go over the specs on what we're using now? For, the for uh, air quality control? 
Yeah, we're going to yeah. be using, we have a gas analysis that we check for uh, carbon monoxide. We check for methane gas, which is, uh, you can find it in uh, sewer gases. Uh, we also check for hydrogen sulfide, which is another bad uh, sewer gas that can actually kill you in uh, high levels. And also we check for oxygen levels. Usually it's around 20% in most of the air uh, environments. And then we also have uh, two uh, testers that they check for uh, particulates in the air, PM1, uh, PM2.5, and PM10. Uh, some of them are uh, pollen, some of them are uh, dust mites. You know, they all have different uh, they all have different results on your allergies. Uh, we also check for carbon dioxide, obviously, which is what we beat out. And, and I think I mentioned carbon monoxide. And then what we yeah, we'll I mean, during this for time, those sports. Mm -hmm. uh, during this time, it's important to oh. check for the pollen, especially with the uh, with the with it being springtime and allergy season, which I'm dealing with right now. Yeah. <laughs> I know a lot of people are. I know. Um, yeah. That that's awesome. That's a really good. And that, is that additional, or is that part of the home inspection? I mean, usually carbon monoxide is is a part of the home inspection. But if they want us to take air samples um, and get a little bit more, get get more thoroughly inspect the air, get actual laboratory results, it would be an extra thing. Um, but, you know, as long as we have all the options there and accessible. Yeah, you know, absolutely. Now, do you, do you guys do and do you suggest uh, sellers doing a home inspection before putting their house on the market? We're actually doing one uh, tomorrow and on Monday. It's called a move-in certified inspection <clears throat> and it counts as an inspection for buyers as well. Certified by InterNACHI, which is our organization that we work with. Um, and I think it's a good move, especially now if a buyer is feeling a little wary about going out for a home inspection, let us just do it from the right. seller's behalf. And, I love uh, that. Yeah. That's we awesome. always suggested that because we, not, not that I feel I don't feel like the seller is always getting the knockout blows when it comes to the inspection report, but sometimes I, I feel bad for sellers not knowing certain things that were going on in the house until the home inspection from the buyer's behalf. So I always suggest to sellers, have your own home inspection, because if you could just find out two or three things that are wrong before the buyer comes, you might be able to, you know, mitigate the situation before having to pay a credit or not being aware that this situation was happening and then a cost just gets you out of nowhere. So just protect yourself. Right. And to be honest, for sellers, if you already know in advance, you can fix the problem, mm -hmm. take care of it. And it could have been a $500 problem when a buyer may ask for $5,000. So it does, exactly. I think, save you, save the sellers money in return and the buyers just have a brand new whatever it is so really both um both parties get a really good uh return with that absolutely awesome i always tell sellers and buyers you're you're gonna you're gonna get a 10 you you could possibly get a 10 percent return on your investment with employing us because let's say you spend six hundred dollars with us okay as a seller mm -hmm. Yeah, at the time, you might feel like it was a wasted expense, but like you said, you know, that $600 that you employed us for might have just saved you an $8,000 credit, which we've seen plenty of times. And as uh, buyers, home inspectors, we've gotten evidence for plenty of times. So during this economic struggle where the real estate prices might be fluctuating, it's like, just protect yourself. That's it. Right. Do all the things that you could do to precaution and just make your house as safe as possible. And that's awesome. That's really good. So what are you guys doing, Smart Choice Inspectors, in order to limit your risk of exposure outside of the job site? Leo, when's the last time we hung out outside of an inspection? <laughs> yeah, I haven't, uh, 
we haven't really went out too much. Uh, right now, I'm only going out because we do have to pick up this radon canister. But other than that, we try to uh, we try to stay home as much as we can, as most people are doing. Yeah, it's it's tough because you know we both live with our spouses, and you know they they're out of work, so they're getting a little stir crazy. I feel bad every time we got to go out for work and I want to be able to do something like go on a hike, but it's just, it would be unfair and selfish on our behalf if we were to go out and come into contact with someone just at, I don't know, Dunkin' Donuts. And now all of our clients are at risk. So we're just being responsible, staying in, watching Netflix. And that's about it. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, that's great. So I, um, I think you guys are doing a great job. I'm so happy you're thinking outside of the box with everything. <laughs> you guys have any questions yeah, for same me? Yes, here with you. Yeah. Uh, I mean, what, what do you think? Uh, what do you think the market? Well, the real estate market in New Jersey goes from here. So I think there's going to be a really big influx of New York City and Hudson County people moving closer to the suburbs because especially with it being so dense there, densely populated, and let's say you live in a condo complex, you can't use the gym, you can't, you know, you can't do anything. So having your own home with a nice yard and all of that is going to be really desirable um, in the next couple of months and even starting now, I mean, I'm seeing some homes, as long as they're priced well, very well, they're getting a lot of showings and multiple offers. So it's, it's happening. Mm -hmm. It's slow, slowly happening, but it is happening. And, um, another thing I'm seeing is it's going to be a little longer days on market. You know, the typical home used to, you know, you would see it come on on a Thursday and by Monday you were under contract, uh, I'm sorry, mm -hmm. an attorney review and you accepted an offer. So that might just be a little bit long, more long term, just because timing for people to come see it with virtual and then um, attorneys taking you know, it's just going to take a little bit more time for things. Um, so we're putting a little bit longer closing dates. I'm seeing than the average, you know, 30 or 45 days. So it might go to 60, but I, I mean, I'm still working with buyers and sellers that need to move and it's critical yeah, that absolutely. they need to. So we have yeah. to accommodate to them. And I, I actually really think it's going to be a huge change in the real estate industry as a whole of going virtual and the agent that you choose to represent you needs to be, on board with that and it's gonna i think weed a lot of people out of the business i agree i think that if you are not able to get with the times as far as the radical changes in technology to make people feel safer and to make things more accessible this is kind of the the finish line for the old ways um yeah but yeah, you're right. Plenty of opportunity. I mean, it's horrible that it's happening. But at the end of the day, if, if someone could take a positive out of this, I think that anybody who works in the real estate industry, investors and first time home buyers are going to definitely benefit from the changes uh, that come from this whole epidemic, uh, pandemic. So at least yeah, that's a good positive note. But, you know, yeah, absolutely. All right. Well, I think that you guys are awesome. <laughs> I love everything you're doing. And um, if anyone has questions, I'll make sure that they reach out to you or myself. Um, mm -hmm. I'm excited to hopefully yeah, they could reach get you guys out to our best, business. Yeah, the best way to reach out to us is go to our website. We, we have social media, but to be honest with you, we're just always so busy with report writing and... Uh, just documenting pictures, gathering evidence. So if you just go to makeasmartchoice.us, that's the best way to figure out what we're all about as a company and to get in touch with us. We have a live chat option on the website and you can call us up. I'm always on the phone. Leo's always on the phone. And even if, even if you need something that we don't offer, we'll refer you to people that 
have five star ratings on Google, just like us. Just want you to have the best experience when it comes to purchasing a home because it's a lot. It's a big investment. It is. That's awesome. Um, say your website one more time. It's make a smart choice dot us. Okay, cool. All right, sounds good. Well, you guys be safe. We're out of time today. Me too. So I um, no I hope you guys are safe and well. And we'll talk to you later. Well and best stay safe. Best wishes to you and your family. Thank stay you. healthy, stay safe. Talk to you later. Bye. Thank you. Talk to you later. Bye.